Moms um, Empowerment Foundation is just a foundation that is focused on the wellness of the woman, total awareness. So uh, for me, I wanted to bring women together, the women of Abuja together, and um, dispress the myth that women cannot coexist and um, we cannot be together in a place without having rancor. So I just wanted, um, 2017, I, I created a group. I brought in um, about 100 of my um, friends on Facebook and 100 became 1,000, 1,000 became 10,000. And today we're 43,670 women, members of the platform Abuja. All we do is basically women supporting each other women coming together to thrive, women coming together to make sure that they are a better version of themselves each day. I just did not want for the next generation to feel that women cannot coexist. That, that was major for me. I really, I don't have a daughter yet. I have sons. However, I did not like the fact that a woman sees another woman and instantly feel that um, there is a competition. So I just wanted for women to know that it is possible, you know, to stay together without beef. Um, because for me, together we're stronger, together we're more powerful, you know, building our homes and building the nation. So we are online as well as being offline. However, we put into consideration um, some of the outreaches that we have. We do that at a point when um, maybe the kids are on break or the husbands are involved in it or um, we basically would want to consider our being wives and our being mothers um, in everything that we do so it really does not affect us you know and then um, on the platform we grow ourselves you know um, a woman can have a business and then all of her um, if you listen to some of my sisters you hear them say 99.9% um, of their customers are Abuja moms so if it's a platform where you're growing your husband would not be upset when you have to go out to touch other women uh, you know because most every year we have different outreaches that we do we do the Abuja moms feed 1,000 women and children. We do the Abuja moms 1,000 school bags where we take school bags to local communities where the children do not have proper bags to go to school. We have um, over 100 children under our scholarship. We have a lot of things that we do just to better um, women and children, you know, living in and around the FCT. Okay. Most of the cases that we have um, against child molestation, um, they are still in court or um, some have been trashed out because um, sometimes, you know, when uh, you are out there to fight for these women, you know, the men somehow would go back to say, okay, I have this to give to you, please just squash the case. And then at some point you see that the people who are molested, you know, are not forthcoming uh, to get help, you know. So um, right now, the only case that we have won is one actually, you know, but we have um, over 13 of them you know that we're handling and then we have the Abuja Moms legal team where our lawyers are helping out you know pro bono for children who have been molested or women who have been violated. On the platform we preach peace, we preach um, unity, we want for everybody to know that you know we're a platform of women of different social strata you know however we're sisters keepers so um, we make sure that people don't feel um, don't feel you can say, aside the people that are the lawyers, uh, I'm sure you saw somebody who fries Akara in Luwe, yeah. you know, so uh, we just preach it every day for the women to know that we're all together and we're one. There's no discrimination. However, financially, uh, we don't have that support just yet. I'm hoping that, you know, a time will come when the husbands do will know that um, we need the help, we need the support. There are lots of women and children who are going through the toughest time, you know, living in Abuja. Oftentimes people think that um, Abuja has it covered and then um, the NGOs focus mainly on, you know, up north or down the east. However, there are lots of poverty and, you know, a lot of pain happening here in Abuja. So we just hope that men and women would um, join us to make sure that our, our drive is just to see that no child goes to bed hungry, you know, no woman is left, um, you know, depressed and all of that. So uh, we just hope that everybody would come together and just make this happen. Enough is enough. Like the reporter has asked, 
you know, women being used like tools or uh, for entertainment in politics. You know, any woman who is a politician just know that you, you are beautiful, you can do it, stay strong, do what you have to do to better the country. And then for the women who politicians would approach, make sure you know that you're selling your children's birthright if you um, decide to collect the bag of rice just now you know, and then put somebody bad in politics. Federal government should know that um, there are women and children who are going through terrible times. I see um, the report on the people who have been helped. I'm saying the people that I know have not um, gotten this help just yet. So if they can extend their hands, not to the, not just, not the platform Abuja Moms, but just to know that there are women and children who truly need the support of the federal government. Abuja Moms has touched me in lots of ways. Um, we, we are, we, our, one of our motto is Sisters Keepers Game Changers. We have sisters, I have sisters who are not related by blood, but they are more than blood. I have sisters everywhere. I have sisters in, in your newsroom, uh, at the airport. I wear my t-shirt. I know, and somebody, a director from an office. We have lots of people who are Abuja moms, moms who are living in Abuja. Um, the police, the military, from law, uh, everywhere. So I've gained a lot just being an Abuja mom. And it has empowered a lot of people. We've touched a lot of lives. We have a, a foundation called Abuja Moms Empowerment Foundation. And it has empowered more than 500 women to be CEOs of their companies. So I'm, I'm proudly Abuja mom. Um, being part of this uh, foundation is even part of development of homes too. Um, myself, I run a ministry, I run women groups too. So um, managing our homes is part of the game of the founder of Abuja Mom. She brings in people to also teach us on how to manage the home, on how to love upon your husband, take care of your children. We talk about parenting. Parenting in this time and day, she's not taking it down on parenting. Everybody gives their kids the right um, skills, what your child should know and what they should do part time. So I think that in this our uh, platform is well balanced. Abuja Mom is a balanced place for your marriage, for parenting, for career. If you're, if you're a woman that has been lazy, I think Abuja Mom have helped a lot of people who are lazy in um, taking action to start taking actions.